Hi, welcome. This is Carl Bickmore with Snap Tech IT. I'm the current CEO and one of the founders of our organization. I had a quick thought for the podcast today that I'd like to get out there and just uh, maybe uh, share some things we've been seeing out there in the field with uh, various customers that we work with and interact with. You know, at, here at Snap Tech, I've been working in IT uh, for quite a while, several years now. And uh, there's a few things that we see as common patterns out there. And I just wanted to really take a minute to talk about the value and importance of a second opinion or to get a regular assessment done uh, on your IT so you truly know where you stand. I think the, the thing that I see all the time is that the business owners that we work with, they're not IT people, just like I'm, say, not a firm administrator of a law firm, or I'm not the production manager at a manufacturer, or I'm not the, uh, you know, the chief executive officer of a financial management organization. W whatever your organization may be, I, I don't know how to do your job. And, and most of the time, I find that the business owners are not that great at understanding IT. And so there comes this part where they just simply um, trust their current provider without ever really doing the verification piece. And I think a trust and relationship is fantastic and you should have it. And that's important, but occasionally you should probably have it looked at just to see if your assumptions are correct, or maybe just to find out where you have weaknesses. Shoot. For all I know, your current provider or current IT uh, staff might have even told you about these. You just simply forgot about them or you didn't understand how important they were. So something that I've begun in our practice many, many years ago, before we'll ever work with a client, we always do an assessment first. Uh, and the whole concept is to help the business owner truly understand where they're currently at so they can make a better decision. Maybe it's to go and stay, take that information to their current provider. Maybe it's to get with their IT team member and have us explain what we found. I mean, the assessment is the assessment. It doesn't mean anything more than that. Uh, and sometimes it, it is true they might look at the assessment and say, hey, I want to maybe change how we do IT. Maybe they'll introduce Snap Tech or maybe go a different direction. But the key thing is, is as a business owner or somebody that's a manager, if you're managing IT, is do you really have the ability to know and check that your backups are really working? Do you really know that your firewall is set up secure? Do you know that your Office 365 or your G Suite is set up in a way to protect you from getting phishing emails or spam or, or whatever other dangerous things might come in through email. And the reality of it is, is um, you, you might be just looking at it saying, you know, for years I've been taking their word uh, and, and I could tell you this, you know, we, we tell our customers we do a good job as well, but I, I will say this, we make an effort to uh, provide evidence uh, to that. And we welcome third-party assessments to come in and check out our services and check out what we're doing to help a business owner. Some of our clients have a practice every year of hiring a, a different company to come in and assess their IT uh, to which we work with them. Uh, it's very similar to what we do for other organizations, but there's a lot to be said about the value of having this assured knowledge and also having it explained to you in a way that you can understand. I think the, the big problem is, is when you don't understand how to manage IT or the details on how to verify IT, you probably don't understand the risk very well in your business of what is high or low risk. Uh, and both exist, right? I think so often everybody focuses on what is going wrong and wants to tell you all the things and maybe scare you into doing something. But the reality of it is that you should know what's strong and what's weak and, and be able to make the decision based on a risk profile that makes sense for you and your organization. So that's why we do assessments. Look, I, I can't tell you how often um, there are surprises that come up in assessments. I would say probably fully eight to nine times out of the 10 when we assess an organization, fundamental things like their backup uh, is not working as expected or a really surprising amount, they're not working at all. Uh, I can tell you we did a recent assessment about a month ago with an organization uh, and th their their owner said, hey, look, I, I pay for this backup and here it is on my bill. You know, everything's taken care of. I got this backup lined up. So we went and looked at it uh, and said, well, it, yeah, I do see that backup there, but I don't see it actually turned on. It does not appear to be actually backing up, which is an oversight or a change that can happen. Uh, and, and I think so often we think, hey, I've I bought the solution. I've got the person in place doing the IT. They're, they're, uh, they're telling me everything's good. And so everything's good. Uh, yeah. 
It, the reality of it is, is there could be some things that aren't being taken care of that you may not be aware of that you would be uncomfortable with finding out or discovering, or even worse, if it comes a moment where you need to rely on, say, a backup, that that's not there. Uh, and so those are the things that that an assessment provides the value for. How do you get to a spot where you understand it well enough to know how to check and verify? I love good trusting relationships, but I do also think it's important to verify. And somebody that doesn't want to let you verify should be a concern. Uh, I know that uh, if uh, anybody that's my client asks for a third party to come in and assess us and our client that we're working with, we are more than happy to have that done. And look, maybe there'll be things that we can do better, but I can tell you, you know, I'm pretty confident there's plenty of things we do right as well. And the owner should know that independently uh, of me just saying, yes, we did all this work. I think the key thing is, is for a lot of small businesses, you don't know how to manage IT or you don't know how to check and verify, just like I don't know how to do something that a lawyer might do or a doctor or, uh, you know, some type of other position. Um, and so uh, there is probably a base level of skill and understanding, or you need to hire somebody to have that for you to give you an assessment of how that's going. And so those are the quick thoughts I have about assessments. I feel like uh, as a standard practice, there's far too many organizations we see getting surprised uh, in their assessments. And, and as such, we just encourage you to consider what it would take and what it would mean uh, for you to have a better handle on knowing for sure that you do, in fact, have things buttoned down uh, and that you do have a complete understanding of what is higher risk or lower risk in the way that your IT is set up. Um, this really can apply to other areas of your business, too. But since we focus on IT, that's that's really what I'm speaking to today. So uh, I'll, I'll leave you with that parting thought. Uh, thanks for listening. I hope that uh, I hope that you consider the value of an assessment for your organization and understand that it's going to help you learn how to better understand what's going on with your IT to better manage your IT. Uh, and I think that's the key point is having a, a true north, fully understanding and knowing what is good and what's bad and what's risky and not risky and, and having somebody really fully explain it. Um, and uh, once again, probably the biggest key thing is, is asking the person who's managing it to do that assessment um, has flaws in how that works, uh, because uh, fundamentally, that's asking somebody to check themselves and really they should want to do that. But uh, to be perfectly frank, um, it's far better to get a second hand or second opinion, as they say, uh, to make sure that you have two points of telemetry on how you're doing rather than just one. So I hope that's a helpful thought for you and uh, just a really quick uh, little recording here. And I look forward to any further questions we can answer and I'll be looking for new topics to share. Uh, so stay